Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday, October 16. Esther Nofsinger will start us with How Great Thou Art. Monday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Lynn Pace. And our scripture reading is Exodus 33, 12 to 23. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. And yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, if I have found favor in your sight, show me your ways so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go, do not carry us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? And this way we shall be di distinct I and your people from every people on the face of this earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you've asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. And Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you the name, the Lord, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, See, there is a place by me where you will stand on the rock, and I will, while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. And then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen." Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So it's good to be known. In the author's local coffee shop, Gina knows her, the author. She's been working there since it opened more than five years ago and knows her name because her order is always the same. They've had this wonderful conversation, shared laughs, and a few tears too. And if it's not too busy, she always has her coffee ready, even before she checks in at the front register. How are you known? Perhaps you're known as a parent or a child or a sibling, aunt, uncle or aunt, or teammate or coach or teacher or student. And maybe you're the mayor, the dean, server, minister, doctor, or paramedic. How are you known? And who knows you? Our readings this week are drawn together by the theme of being known. They highlight the way that God knows us and how we are as children of God. In Exodus, makes, Moses makes his third intercession on behalf of God's people, pleading for God to remain present among, along the journey to the promised land. As Moses asks God whom will, who will send with him to assist in this journey, he seems to already know. He reminds God of God's previous promise. I know you by name and think highly of you. God knows us by name and goes with us. And when someone forgets our name or misspells it, or when we do not feel welcome, especially in places where we should, it's a gift that God still knows us by name. 
Being known by God is also means being loved. And that truth never goes away. Today's text reveals a God who not only knows us by name, but will bring us back to our true self by God's grace again and again. And God says to Moses, I'll do exactly what you've asked because you have my special approval and I know you by name. Let us pray. How are we known in the world? Let us give thanks that we are known and loved by God. Amen. Our closing hymn is Blessed Be the Name. Thanks to you.